I'm going to play three tunes on this violin, which is new to me. I've only had it a few days. So this is what it looks like. There we are, one side. And the other side. And that's the scroll. And it all looks fine. Inside is a label. JTL Louis Frico Paris and a smudgy date, which I can't read. Um, now, JTL is Jérôme Thibault-Lémy, and that's the name of a very large violin-making firm, which flourished in the 19th century and into the 20th century, and is still alive now. Um, and they made a really hundreds of thousands of instruments. But the point about JTL is they never fell below a certain standard. Even the cheapest instruments, and they were all graded, even the cheapest instruments were properly made and properly supervised. The cheapest ones were things like the Mediofino instruments, as they were called, and they were very common, still are. This Louis Frico violin should be a fairly high-grade instrument, but looking at it, the quality of the finishing makes me wonder if it actually is, and if indeed it ever was made at JTL's large uh, workshop. I don't know. Spurious labels and violins are common. Um, you'll get violins which purport to be by very fine makers, which never were near those people, and they have labels stuck in them by other people in the hope to make a, a good sale. That does happen. You also get violins with Antonio Stradivarius. I would have thought millions of them all over the world nowadays, which were not made by Antoni Stradivari, who, by the way, Latinized his name for his labels, hence Antonio Stradivarius. But they, sometimes they say beneath it, made in Czechoslovakia or made in Germany, and there's no attempt to deceive there, obviously. Now, spuriously labelled violins are not necessarily bad violins. Of course they're not. And this is a nice one. So I'm just going to play three tunes, as I said, on it. The first one is a Straspe by William Marshall, and it's called The Banks of Spe. So here we go. the video to find the page. Two jigs now. Merrily Dance the Quaker's Wife, which I'll play twice because it's short, and My Wife's A Wanton Wee Thing, which is a bit longer. So here we go, Monsieur Frico, or maybe not, playing these two jigs. I think. <laughs> 